So what do you, what do you got? Um, uh, so you're you're asking me what? Just my... quick overview. Like what you were you were part of our session as well? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. So we just did some SE yeah, yeah. Uh, role play. Yeah. yeah. What you thought about that? What's like the hardest part for someone who just did SE? I imagine for the first time. Um, I I mean I've been aware of it, mm-hmm. and so I've tried to incorporate this idea of approaching conversations yes. in a more level-headed, you know what would change your mind what is the reason what's the foundational yeah um and so jumping right into it i would say i felt um that kind of shock of oh shit i have to actually do this now and then that panic Mm. and kind of kind of blacked out Mm. um in in my case the guy was interviewing uh it was two of us and we had our referee our third guy who just kind of wanted to observe sure and i we started and i choked up and then he jumped right in and he kind of took over and it was it was kind of a nice say okay i was glad i got him to participate let me tell you this do you know the names of any of those people yeah yeah it was me and then the other james from the sunday assembly here and we were talking to uh tyler who i also think he lives here okay Um, okay cool yeah all three of us local remembering names is like the biggest deal and i found like Typically, people have mnemonic devices that help them remember, like, what's what. Mm -hmm. When you have a name and a belief closely associated with them, you'd be surprised the number of people you start to remember on just, like, a a daily basis. Like, there was a guy named Mike. He's with American Atheist. He has a terrible wallet. It's made out of duct tape, and he believes that philosophy is, like, one of the truest things possible. Morality doesn't need a God to believe in it. And I hadn't seen him since June. So when I saw him roll by, I'm like, Mike! I know all these things about him already. <laughs> it's like, you want to come down and sit and have another conversation for a second for like the last seven yeah. months? And it's just like, let's pick up where we left off. It's weird. It's that's, really weird. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, but what do you think you could have done better? Um, I had a hard time. The I, I recognize your goal was to kind of give everybody a head start by starting with faith mm. and we, we screwed that up and we just started from the top uh-huh. and so my goal was <laughs> yeah. how, how do I get us to faith and then the buzzer came up before like we got down a little bit mm. um, but some of those key questions like if uh, the example he gave was uh, as he was role playing was I've seen prayers where I've had prayers and those came true and I grew up in the church and I believe that based on faith and, and oh he didn't the, start because with because yeah oh, exactly yep yeah, we just we completely sabotaged the entire thing for ourselves okay so okay. it was it was our our uh, it's always your prerog- you can in your prerogative you could just say do you value faith as a means to come to like true conclusions and that whole so speeds things up a lot okay. like I've gone to churches and just started with that mm-hmm. and if they said no and you'd be surprised how many people say no in a church uh-huh. uh, you'd be like okay so then what is it it's like I like evidence it's like okay so would you say you're God believes based on faith to be honest with you I'm not like I'm just here for my wife or like mm. um, yeah but I would still if you gave me evidence I'd want that more than faith so like it actually opens up mm-hmm. it doesn't like bias the conversation too much just be like do you value faith as a decision making process to come to something true okay um, let's see what do you think we could have done better to like show you how to do this method? like if we wanted to improve this workshop what would be a good way to do mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean I, th- I think in that case it was just a, a human error on our part where did we just did you want more role play maybe I, I think I was glad that this had the most time that I think I feel like he's had to do this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, absolutely, getting to do more role play, mm-hmm. and I liked um, where you know Anthony was able to come over, and you know where I was starting to lock up and give give me that next step and kind of get the ball, give me the nudge yeah. to get things rolling again. Nice. So I think um, doing it in the way we did, where having more role play time and having that assistance. Um, was was a good way. Okay. What's your name? William. William, would you like to get on the camera? Uh, if I can do. You, if you we want, can do two yeah. on one. I, I wasn't part of the workshop, but I've seen a lot of epist- street epistemology, mostly Anthony's mm-hmm. street epistemology videos. I'm pretty familiar with. Would uh, you be comfortable being recorded? I would. Yeah. Please get in here. Get in here. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, move this just a little bit closer. I'll, I'll, I'll scoot back. Swapping out No, no, no. You're both sitting there. Yeah, You're yeah. both sitting. You're both both. I can do both. Oh, okay. I'll just, just do a, both. I don't want to give up my deluxe chair. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't want you to give up your deluxe chair. You're too happy about that. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate to take Dude, that away I, from you. I highly value. <laughs> Manifest destiny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Can I get us both? So, um, here, here's the question then. Let's get straight into it then. That's, that's great feedback. So, we can try to average more time to role playing. Because I think that's probably worth 
it got really interesting. That, that's, it, that's where it becomes real. That's where it becomes like, oh. from a passive listening yeah. versus trying to apply. And I think, I feel like after, when, once, once you've tried to do something, then you'll listen even more intently after that. Oh. Because because that because you're like, oh yeah, yeah, this this, you know, yeah, that's totally like this seems super easy and then you do it yes. and then you crash and then you're like, oh, wow. this is actually difficult and now you're like, how can I do better cuz this was embarrassing uh. and then you're like really I feel like Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. then what I'm going to do is uh, bring that up, and if we do this again, I'm gonna yeah. definitely put more time into role play because I felt like most people got more out of that than anything else. Yeah. Also, I feel like it was probably the funnest part. Yeah, yeah, overall. yeah. I mean, the fact that it had such a hard time getting people to yeah. stop. Yeah, like exactly. I was just to say, like, I'm saying, okay, guys, and no one's, no, one, it's not like a math test. We're just like, I'm done with math. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone right was. People are like, I want, I want to keep talking. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm almost at the gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy's almost about to become an atheist because it was like, no. it's like. Back to going to reality. So, all right, James, what was your name? Hi, William. Well, I only introduce myself yes. each time. Um, James, I want you to think about something that you know you can't be wrong about. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. William, I want you to no, think about something that you know you can't be wrong about. Okay. It's all right if it's different things. We're going to all work mm-hmm. on this together. And okay. I can throw something that I think I'm not wrong about, too. Mm-hmm. And we'll go around. I was going to say, to the certainty thing that I can't be wrong about, I would I want use. like a hundred, like something you know you can't but, be wrong about is what I would call like a hundred percent certainty. Like you know for a fact that you can't be wrong about it. Like that, what's more certain than that? Like you don't even want to ask any more questions about it. Like it's just so obvious, so true. It's, it's it is, it is, or whatever you want to say. Like we don't want to throw on top of that. Is there anything like that for you? Um, the thing that you're at least most confident about, even if there's nothing like that. Let's see. Um, I would say the uh, pretty much the foundational thing I would kind of get to is something like the laws of logic are reliable. The laws of logic are one hundred percent reliable. Yes, I would go. I would. I would venture to make that claim. Okay, James, what do you got? Um, I, I mean, yeah. If if I if I was forced to pick something that had that high of a degree of certainty. Um, one of the things we did in my when we swamped for that very last role play, um, and I was doing essay on the other guy. He said, uh, "I believe in the science, like science, like science or the scientific method." To one hundred percent science. Like like that, the scientific method is the most reliable way to like discover mm-hmm. truths about reality. Is that your position? I, think I don't I, know what you believe. I think I would agree with that, yeah. To 100% certainty, the scientific method is the most reliable method. Sure. Known or period? Known. No. Because, again, I, I try not to believe anything to 100%. Like, thir- you should always be open to changing your mind. Should you always be? Yes. 100% certain on that? Huh? Are you 100% certain? <laughs> ah, on that? You know, 100% well certain played. On we're getting too fast into this. Yeah, I was I was thinking Something about, doing, about. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about doing some like a liar's paradox type of uh, thing. Something like mm. I'm 100 percent certain that this statement is true. Yeah. So you know we can we can get into that. That's pretty fun. Too. Concerning logic, um, I understand you can. It's sort of mathematical, and the realm yeah. of mathematics is that you can declare yeah. truths because you have very well defined yeah. aspects. So like I can say two. Yeah. In real life, I can't bring you two of anything. There's always going to be slightly more of one than the other. Oh, you have two cameras here. But they have different atoms, maybe. And they might have. That's true, but like some the, might have grease on it. Where does the camera begin? Where does the camera end? Is some, one has less battery okay. charge than the other? Uh, like, there's there's aspects that make them different, and if they're different, they can't be the same. So okay. how do I really I, have I two see what of you're anything? Um, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So it's ill-defined what a camera is, but two, the number, uh-huh. boom. We both yeah. agree what two is. Mm-hmm. Base ten. Yeah. We know exactly what two is. Yeah. And I can say two plus two equals four. And I agree with that, and we yeah. can prove it to be true. Yes. We can do the proof for it. Yes. But for like abstract stuff yes. that's not mathematical, that's yes. hard. Logic. Well, no. Well, the what mathematic proof is the abstract stuff. Yeah, I, I did so, that. So, you, I mean, yeah, that. you have it. Yeah, you have an abstract uh, mm. concept, and you can say things about that. Um, but it's well defined. Yeah, those are well defined. Like, yeah. uh, if this, if this, 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 this condition are met, then. So that's follows. my boring preamble. That's yeah. my boring preamble. Now let's get back into SE. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, 
What do you mean by logic and laws? Laws of logic. What do you mean okay. by laws of logic? Um, I think typically I refer to like the three uh, kind of um, identity, uh, non-contradiction, exclu- excluded middle. Okay. Are you saying that the by laws, even if we, you know, we make laws, human yes. beings make laws. Yes. So even if humans didn't make those laws, you would still say that they were true, right? Even or would you humans, say they're not true? I'm just wondering. Let's see. Even if humans didn't make, I would say yes, because I don't think humans, humans did not make them. We coined them into laws. Uh, yeah, we 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 discovered more or less and described them. Yeah, yes. like as far as I'm aware, yes. like laws are something that like humans say, hey. This is an observation oh, so like, that so we yes, made. Yes, like a, like a scientific law. Yeah. It's it, so is, reliable. This is, yeah, this is a description of uh, repeated observations. I would say the laws of logic work similarly. Okay. Um, you know, we've really don't have we don't have a single counterexample um, that that you know something that is is itself all that stuff. Do you know what he's talking about? I, I'm I'm I've heard. I can break it down. I, I was gonna say I I've, I've heard the identity. Non contradiction and yeah. exclude middle, yeah. but I have not looked into that to know what each of those particularly means. So it is what it is, it isn't what it is. So, and so if I had a car, yeah. I have mm-hmm. a car yeah. in the parking lot right now, mm-hmm. every car in that parking lot is either my car or not my car. Mm-hmm. Would that make sense? Okay, is that identity? Is that, well, I mean, does that ma- at least make sense? Would yes. You, would you agree with me you on that? You either own it or you do not. Yeah, either car yeah. is either a my or car not or not a. my car. Every car in Nashville is either my car or not my car. Yes. Every thing on earth is either my car or not my car. Mm-hmm. Every, you're with me so far? Yes. Mm-hmm. Everything in the universe is either my car or not my car. I can have two sets of it's my yes. car yep. or it's not my car. Mm-hmm. As long as I well define what my car is, mm-hmm. I can say is X or is not X. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. that explains all three modes mm-hmm. of that because there's no middle ground. Mm-hmm. My car is my car and what's not my car is not my car. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. The thing is, how do we prove it not to be true, the case? How do, we, how, how, how do you how falsify, would we that? falsify because it? Because we have to assume that it's true to even try to falsify it. Uh, I mean, but I think that in and of itself would be the evidence, right? Is it? So if we... Can we falsify it? Can we falsify it? I mean, we would have to... Is not falsifying something proof that it's true? Is it a postulate? Wait, wait, wait. Is not falsifying something... Yeah, is the fact that true? we can't falsify it proof that it's true? No. Okay, so it seems like it's not so much that it's not so much that I don't have a lot of confidence that it's true. Mm-hmm. It's just that I'm always open door. Like, mm-hmm. show me a good way to falsify it, and I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. But right now, I'm like, that's why that's for me mm-hmm. one of the things that I'm most confident about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like as nines down to the down to Pluto mm-hmm. and beyond. But I would never be 100 percent until I know how to falsify something. Mm-hmm. Even if I couldn't falsify it, I just mm-hmm. be like, it's unknown. Mm-hmm. But I'm. There's nothing else I'm probably more confident than than that. What do you think about that? Let's see. So I think, I'm trying to remember. So everything you just said. So Hmm. uh, you would believe in these uh, laws more if you you were able to falsify them? Yeah, I love things that I know where my not hits are as well as my hits. Yes. And if I don't know where my non-hits are, how can I be 100% confident that I got a hit? So, I mean, this is a a similar thing to um, how would I falsify, like, uh, Newton's second law? So, in the sense of, in the event, let's pretend I did it. Yeah, sure. I don't know is a perfectly fine answer. Yeah. And... I'm measuring my confidence on based on what I can demonstrate. Yeah. And I think that's a reasonable position. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, for instance, if, if I were to try to do an experiment that would demonstrate Newton's second law and I were to get something maybe like mass equals, or force equals mass times velocity mm-hmm. instead of mass times acceleration. S- so, and, and, and that obtains, well, hey, well, now I have a, an observation yeah. that contradicts now, but the problem is, will that ever happen? Uh, it hasn't happened yet. Well, here's now the, I could do a similar thing with law of logic, correct? And I'm uh, and all I'm saying is, ninety nine point nine 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 yeah. represents an open mindedness that I could be wrong about. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. which is always more reliable or more mm-hmm. rational position than mm-hmm. I'm so confident that I don't even ask questions about it. Oh yes. And yes. when I say like, yes. hey, third second law of thermodynamics. Yeah. Here now, sure, but when the universe is being formed, who yes. knows what the rules were okay. then? Yeah near heat death 
Yeah. Who knows what the rules will be then? Yeah. These might be an ev we might seeing we might be seeing a spectrum of change with these uh, yeah. equations that change slightly over time, yeah. imperceptible to our short lifetimes. Yeah. I'm open to being wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's all that means, and I think that's oh, the I, more I, rational position. Yes, I definitely, I would definitely agree. If there were to be some sort of demonstration or otherwise uh, evidence that the laws of logic were not reliable, yes, then of course I would change. My and mind. the way how I see it is, someone who's so confident that they aren't going to change their mind, even if they were presented that kind mm -hmm. of evidence, would be more confident than you. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't be at 100%. I could not be at 100% on this one. Then, then I, I guess so. This was, uh, I would say, the closest to 100% that I could have given you. Nice. Um, I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Fist bump it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm. Not bad. I mean, yeah. honestly, um, I mean, I, I guess I came in, there wasn't a, this is it's close to 100%. There's some I other give. things I feel I'm like. I'm not sure. Let's like, see. I mean, I don't think Infinity War is a good movie, period. I probably, I would, I would 100%. <laughs> I'm not taking the bait. It ain't good. It ain't good. And we could talk about, oh, it's, it's not such good. a bad movie. It's not good. It's half a movie. And I want to do yours thing first. Man. In fact, I haven't even said oh, mine. Hey, I haven't even said mine. I could say Infinity War sucks. Okay. I <laughs> then I want. Uh, you you you. You want a good movie? Watch Spider Verse. Sorry. Oh, I watched it Thursday. Oh, wasn't watched it good? It fantastic. Perfect. God damn! Have no, you seen Spider Verse? I, watched, I have. No, oh, I don't you watch watched Spider Verse. Oh, okay. I have to, like, so after that, I was watching it with a friend, and after that movie, I just turned around and just. Well, that was a perfect movie. It was a perfect. Movie. <laughs> I was in the movie theater, and I was like, I had so much hype going into this, and then I left. And I was like, it was even better than the comic book that it was based I, off of. That almost could have been a better claim. A Spider Spider Verse was a perfect movie, hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> If you want to do another round, we can try that. Out. <laughs> okay. What you got? I might, right, you I, that, might be, that might be a good one for me to go on you. Okay, scientific <laughs> method is the most reliable one that we know about. Yes, I, 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 I suppose. Like, I mean, the, and and what I ran up when I did with the other guys. I mean, the scientific method is is that's the foundation of of kind of knowledge and learning things. What do you and, mean by the scientific method? Um, the the process of do you well, see how it's always just what do you mean by that and then mm -hmm. is that reliable yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. all that's yeah. yeah that's the game yeah um, by a scientific method yeah. the 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 process um, of let's see help me out with it it's what you know you observe a phenomenon you hypothesize what is the cause of that you try to isolate the variables and change one of them okay um, and then see how that affects the outcome. Can I repeat that back to you? Just of course. Measure? So you make an observation, you form a hypothesis, mm -hmm. and you do a methodological approach to determine whether your hypothesis was true mm -hmm. or not true, mm -hmm. and not both, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that fair? Sure. Is that the best way to determine everything? Or are there some things that you can't determine through observation, making a hypothesis and methodolo methodological testing, but still arrive at a true conclusion? Mm -hmm that we know about. Like, mm -hmm. is there another process that could be good? Like, is there things where scientific method is limited? Like, mm -hmm. I'm wondering generally. Yeah, I mean. Like, is there anything that we can't observe but still learn more things from? I'm, I'm trying to think. The first thing that would come to mind would be something more, um, less, like, precise as, as more, like, psych psychological or emotional Ooh, or, like or soft science yeah f or feelings and stuff like that but even then i mean the field of psychology is still there are still kind of ways to try to quantify and try to test things and try to isolate yeah. variables mm -hmm. so it's not completely removed and you know it the scientific method of, of test things and see what happens is still kind of the foundation for that what do you mean by reliable like or you say it's the most reliable method that we have what mm -hmm. do you mean by reliable by reliable, that would mean it yields the most consistent results. A result, a a, a posit, a useful result, meaning useful. meaning that you have gained knowledge that is actionable in some way. That you you can do something with that knowledge. Um, re reliable in the sense that it will lead you astray less than faith or, or, or feelings or, or Leads rumors. you astray less. Yes. So just to summarize, and William, I'd love to get your input on this. Yeah. Um, so you have the scientific method, which is just observation, hypothesis, and testing. Mm. You think it's the most reliable method that we know based on it yielding useful data mm -hmm. and being less 
likely to lead you astray based on other methods that have been proposed sure. so far. Sure. Mm -hmm. William, what do you think about that? And you're how confident are you? Um, to a high degree. A That's fine. Degree. Yeah. Do you think you could be wrong? Huh? Uh, to the extent that yes, I mm -hmm. could be wrong about anything. Okay. Um, but I have not been presented evidence, or I, nothing comes to mind at the moment that would necessarily persuade mm -hmm. me. Fair enough. Okay. I have some ideas, but I'd love to hear where sure. you would go with um, this. I think I have a couple ideas where mm -hmm. that might be good, but I think the one I'll go with is, okay, so what about um, things that may, something that may not be uh, observable mm -hmm. uh, to us. For instance, um, let's say a, f a fourth dimensional object. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how would we go about studying something like that? Mm. So, so we have, I mean, we have our three spatial dimensions. Let's uh -huh. say we have a four spatial dimension uh -huh. object. Uh -huh. How do we go about studying that and drawing conclusions about some of its properties? Or even beginning to define what it yeah. is. Yeah. I, well, two things. One, the only context in which I'm familiar with more than the three spatial dimensions would be the nine plus two, whatever, for string theory. Mm -hmm. um, in which case, then you're, you're doing mm -hmm. math. It's just higher dimensional math. Now, so I want you to is, involve yourself in this conversation. Yeah, so I'm this would be, So this would be something like um, definitely an abstraction of the real world we live in. So mm -hmm. uh, something like mathematics mm. could possibly um, investigate this okay. object, but mm. how? But we could we use science to investigate this object? If to say that there is an unknown fourth dimensional object which is only in this fourth dimension, which we have no way mm -hmm. of confirming that it's there or testing mm. it with, if, if you, you can't test with science, mm. then that means it evidently does not manifest. Mm. Um, if it does not have any effect on the world in which we actually mm -hmm. exist, um, then mm -hmm. I don't know how Okay. I could be certain that it was actually there. Again, mm. that's where I think it falls into the world of, of math. Well, yeah, and so like, um, I mean, if we, so maybe this is a, a incorrect paraphrase. So if we're mm -hmm. using science to investigate the world and draw conclusions about the uh, mm -hmm. things, uh -huh. um, would you would you agree that that would be a good summer summarization of the scientific sure. method? Okay. Mm. Okay. So something of uh, something like. Uh, a four-dimensional object, which wouldn't work in our, our three-dimensional mm -hmm. world that we live in. Uh -huh. um, how could we use the scientific method to draw conclusions about this this thing? If if it manifests, is science limited? Is what he's asking. Yeah, yeah, and with regard to what it can study, I suppose yes. And yeah, okay, I'm I'm going ahead because mm -hmm. because what Cause I'm, it's, if no, you like, answer his question. Yeah. Yeah concisely and honestly mm -hmm. and just trust in the method yeah. you can see where he's going with his steps but I think he's just asking mm -hmm. so you're saying science is great and it's the best thing we know and you're asking is science limited if you say yes to that you might get to his next question rather than trying to like feel yeah like yeah yeah I'm, okay, I'm, just, I'm like, trying to play limited it. don't play him just yeah. answer yeah. honestly yep. Yep. so yeah it's limited go with the flow of the conversation it's limited yeah. so I'm not much. necessarily saying that this hypothesized it's still the best one we know because the, in the, yeah. I'm arguing against Carl Sagan's imaginary dragon fourth dimensional dragon in your garage so He's saying it's limited, so what? Yeah, it's science is limited. No okay. what? So what? Um, it's still the best one we know. Yeah, okay. Based on him. I'm sure. Not, so. Okay. <laughs> Just figuring um, it out. <laughs> okay, so if, if that's the case, uh, if that's the best one we know, um, let's say something like mathematics could give us mm -hmm. an idea of how to explore a four dimensional object. Let's say if, uh -huh. if we were presented Ooh. with a four dimensional object, uh, we would have now have the you know through mathematical abstractions have the tools to figure out its volume, sure. to figure out uh, ways to transform it, things like that. Uh -huh. um, however, so but are you would you be saying that those sort of methods and those sort of conclusions are less reliable or less accurate than the scientific method? I think it it's still would it still be considered part of the scientific method if you're? I feel like. My initial thought is that math is an arm of, of science. It's me too. Okay. Um, and and so it's incomplete to, without testing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. To do to okay. mm. when yeah, you're doing sure. SE, sure. you typically aren't trying to sell another idea. Oh, okay. You're only focused on his method. Okay. Not his conclusion. So he just he likes science, but you don't even care. He yeah, could yeah. say I like blank. 
Okay. The question is, why do you like blank? What okay. do you mean by blank? Because you're not mm -hmm. trying to dismiss okay. science, because that's a hard thing to do. Yeah, like yeah. logical absolutes, that's a hard yeah, thing yeah. to dismiss. You're trying to investigate whether or not the methodology that mm -hmm. he's using to get okay. to that conclusion is reliable or not. Mm -hmm. okay. And if it's not 100% reliable, like how we determine you need to falsify yeah. things, then maybe you shouldn't be 100% reliable uh, okay. just or confident about mm -hmm. the conclusion. So, yeah. Can I throw out something? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. If all the humans died mm -hmm. on Earth, would science still be the best known method? Can there be a known method without minds? Without humans? Yeah. I, There's still other animals. Yeah. It, I mean... Is it necessary for humans to be around for there to be... For science to be the first? For humans to be no. around? No. It, so I it mean, could be other animals? Uh-huh. Sure. So is I, it a possibility... Uh -huh. Is there a possibility that there's other animals or aliens that have a better method than what we've determined? I, I believe that, to the, to the best of my knowledge... Not saying it's the case, but uh -huh. is it possibility? Like, in all the planets that we have, that there's maybe an intelligent life that's determined is better than we have. That their version that, of science, that they might call a different thing, is much better than what we would call. To, is that even a possibility? And in the, in the point of keeping an open mind, then yes. Hmm that I'm convinced of that position, that there is in fact, or that I'm swayed in that. And I'm not of saying course, it's the case. Yeah. But if that was, if they were able to present that to you, would that reduce your confidence that science if, is the if best there way? Was, if, if there was demonstrated something, mm -hmm. which again, it's it's such a foreign concept to just not a even know. A, uni a UFO just yeah. right above us, it's like, here you go. How, yeah, yeah, how they could it's do like something a, it's a besides with testing. Like, it's, 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 this is like, you would be surprised. Yeah. It's going to blow your mind. Yeah, and the yeah. alien's just like, whoop, whoop, whoop. But you understand <laughs> it anyway, and you're just like, that was impressive. And he shows it to you in a PowerPoint, you're like, oh. Yeah. Well, dang. Would that reduce your confidence? Sure. If you have something that will make you change your mind, mm -hmm. would you really say you're 100% confident? But you didn't say you're 100%. Yes, but you I, did said, say, I, I said, I said um, to a high degree, um, but you are willing to change your mind on that, right? But sure. Mm. At least now we have a more well-defined way to change your mind. I okay. know it's a little extraordinary, yeah. but you're starting with nothing before, mm -hmm. which is pretty extraordinary. And now you at least have something sure. that you would recognize. Beyond that, mm -hmm. I always wonder, like, um, in the future, uh -huh. there might be a epiphany of new means of testing things that rely more on math or e extraordinary means of testing mm -hmm. that makes what we do completely like irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Like if mm -hmm. you go back for 5,000 years, what was science back then? Hey guys, fire, check this out. Yeah. Now we have like ships that take off and land themselves. Mm -hmm. well, I would like argue that. that it's still fundamentally the same. Like, like, yeah. Like while it might have not been refined mm. to recognize what the steps yeah. were, it's still I mean, five thousand years for something to evolve is very short. But sure. if you stand I mean, at like fifty thousand, five well, million years, uh, even what, are we even dealing with the same thing anymore? Like, are we still going to call that the I same think, thing? I think I think the the way in which uh you know a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> tests different methodologies. I have to capture this. Is, well, this is what a what good point. I think so. Like uh, something about if, if we could exist things. Animals still use some sort of maybe rudimentary version of the scientific method. Mm -hmm. They are still investigating the world and figuring out what works. Yeah. And generally, they do figure out what doesn't work because they die. Or their uh, school of fish will now know to sure. avoid this type of other fish. Uh. Or, or now we know that this school of fish needs to latch onto this whale. And yeah. 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 So they're, they're still testing things and investigating and investigate. things, figuring out what works and doesn't. So here's this thing. Um, something in science that is like the goal mind the end of science is the one equation that solves sure. everything. Are you familiar yeah. with that? Yeah. Right now we have a it's series of two sets something. of equations yeah. that explain big things, yep. big in forces and small forces. Yep. But if we had one equation that explained everything, mm -hmm. like cool. perfectly, yeah. we wouldn't need to make a hypothesis and test it. We would just mm. know it from the, the equation. I suppose. Well, in the, okay. Plug it into the formula and you'll get your answer. Possibly, it's perfect. but how do we figure out what that, that formula is in fact It's a, a one-to-one one model. We already know it's perfect. We already did the test and we know that model's perfect. Now we don't need to test anymore. Yeah, we don't have to make a hypothesis. But you're, po you're possibly maybe skipping through that first like, part really really quickly. Like I how mean, I put, it takes, takes as a, a method to do something, okay. mm. I wouldn't need to observe, make a hypothesis, and test it. Okay. i just plug it into the... I'd have a calculator. Okay. That would tell me what the right answer is. Interesting. Every time. Interesting. I'm not technically doing math. Yeah. I'm just plunking yeah, it. Yeah. If if you have a completely accurate simulation. Would you say a calculator is doing? Oh, this is this is interesting. This is philosophical. Math. There you go. Are you saying a calculator is doing math, or is it just doing its core functions as a program piece of machinery? 
because that's how I'm seeing it. Like a machine that will tell you the right answer. Mm -hmm. You just plug in the variables and it'll tell works. you what the right answer is. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Like when we had that one equation, it won't be yep. minds doing it. It'll probably be like some. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. It'll be like some weird thing that you just like, 42. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, <laughs> Why yeah. is it always 42? I mean, it's a, yeah, it's some kind of black box. You put your input, it gives you an output. And there you go. It's just like, mm -hmm. just build this, mm -hmm. or the answer's that, or mm -hmm. that person's going to win the election. Mm -hmm. Let's not even waste time. Mm -hmm. The box said so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, um, that. that's the better well, method than science. I can't believe we've been doing science for <laughs> ages. Things exploding left yeah. and right. Like, it's terrible. Uh, just I mean, use the box. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to. I know, I know this is like an idealized situation. I'm tempted yeah. to, to. Would to, that be a better to, method? Maybe. If if you yeah. have, it'd be more powerful, wouldn't you think? You you well. It explains everything. You're doing a sim. You're doing basically. You're. It's the one to one model. It's yeah. The one, it's the true one to one. And model. that model is just simply simulating, and by running the model perfectly to run the model yes. is a test in and of itself. But it knows every facet of every possible interaction. And sure. It's, it's and the perfect. way it knows that is by running a simulation. It like no, by, by doing the math. It to do, it, it to does do, its function yes. like a calculator does. Yes. To, to, binary. To, 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 yeah. For it to do its function and to do the math, I would say is the test. So you'd say the box is doing the scientific method to get yes. the answer that you wanted. Yes. Ooh. It's like like Ooh. it's 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 essentially running a simulation of, of instead of dropping the ball and seeing how much newtons of energy mm -hmm. the sensor is reading, it just knows how much the ball weighs and knows how much gravity and mass and is spitting out the number four. Like, I'm not doubting that it's scientific, but I don't even know. I would, I, and I'm not a computer programmer, mm -hmm. but I would say that the way how a machine as sophisticated as that would probably work could be such that it doesn't work like how computers work today sure. where it runs a simulation. It mm -hmm. could just be like, <laughs> like, no, there's one perfect answer <laughs> for mm -hmm. every per every perfectly formatted words, question. Words. And it's just an analog, boom, there you go. It's That's almost it. like a matrix that is, so instead yeah, of just like, doing the math for it, it just knows. It'd be an assumption on my end that it would be using yeah. the scientific method. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those situations again where it's like aliens coming in or a perfect machine that just works in a way that I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Maybe there could be in the future a better <laughs> means and method, but we don't know that yet. Yes. But at least now we know things that would change your mind from. Sure. Nothing would change my mind. And you already said you'd be willing to change yeah, your mind anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a fun kind of conversation to have in yeah. NSCY because but now we're both working towards like, what would, what would Yeah, like no, this is very interesting. Yeah? Yeah, no, this is cool. Okay, cool. And then you just shake hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So like, again, the whole point of this isn't to show like, you're wrong, I'm going to show you why you're wrong in like five minutes and like, <laughs> and turn around. Mm -hmm. It's for both of us to be like, let's at least be more reasonable by the end of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And by knowing grounds where we'd be willing, willing to change our mind, mm -hmm. or at least identify what it would take for us sure. to be wrong or falsified, mm -hmm. that's great. Because mm -hmm. it just yeah. makes us mm -hmm. a little yep. bit more rational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus it's fun mm -hmm. to kind of talk about. Yeah. Infinity War is the worst movie. Or is Spider-Verse the most perfect movie? Spider are different universes. They are different universes. Well, I, guess, I, I do have, have you seen Have I, you seen Infinity War? I haven't seen any of the Marvel movies. You haven't seen any of the Marvel movies? No. Where's your... I've seen all of them. I, I don't. Is he secretly German or something? Like <laughs> cool. Let me see your papers. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me see your papers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, if I could summarize, I can summarize that, have you seen movies, period? Oh.